Hey, hello everyone. So today we are going to see about val array in C++ STL. I think it is one of the most least used containers in STL. But anyway, it's really useful and we can learn about it. So let's get started. So what is val array first? Val array is a container which is quite similar to arrays, normal arrays, but with additional functionality for mathematical operations. For example, uh, we, we used to do some of the basic mathematical operations like to find the sum of an array, sum of all elements in array, find the minimum elements in array, maximum elements, perform shift operations. Uh, we will be using a for loop and we need to have so many procedures for using this, like doing some minimum, maximum, etc. But by using val array, all these operations can be done by just assigning it as a function. So that's the advantage. It just reduces our operation time and the codes for doing that operation because it replaces all the codes as a inbuilt functions. So let's get started with val array. So I'll just delete this one and you can go with the header file as include val array or you can just uh, comment this out and use bit slash stdc plus dot h is absolutely your choice. So let's get by declaring a val array. Okay, it's going to be val array and it's going to be of type int and let me put vr be my val array va okay equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so let me start with a minimum and maximum element okay so for finding c out let me put uh, min space and i will be putting va dot min just a function so this will give us the minimum element present in the array and I'll just copy this, paste it again, and I'll go and put here max, and I will just change it as max. So if you just run it now, so min is one and max is five, so that's right. So let me just try it for a normal array, whether it will work or not. So I'll put int error or equal to one, one comma two, and we just copy this and if I just go over here and type a r r no it's not working for a normal array so it's only confined to this all these inbuilt functions are only confined to our val array okay so next what we can do so next we can do sum okay let's just find the sum so we'll just put n del uh, here also n del and same thing just copy this again and just put some so for some finding some in normal normal array we will we used to use to we need to use a for loop okay we need to use a for loop and have a temporary variable sum equal to zero and just iterate through the elements but here it's just replaced by a single line of code so let me run it now what's the sum actually it's 3 uh, 6 and 15 so 15 it's working perfectly and Another thing is like a really important operation. Suppose what if we want to increment all the values or, or all the numbers by particular value. Let's suppose say I want to add two to all these numbers and store it in another array. So we can also do that. So for that what we need to do is we need to have a temporary value okay for storing the values. So it's going to be VA1. So how it works is that VA1 equal to VA dot apply and inside this apply, what we need to do is we need to put this square brackets and you need to pass int x, which basically represents all the elements int x. And we're going to put a return x equal to x plus 2. That's it. So this is the code over here. So now let me print the contents of VA1 int i equal to 0 i less than va1 dot size i plus plus c out i'll put va1 of i so as you can see here i'm getting 3 4 5 6 and 7 which means like what it does basically is that it takes all the elements of VA that is this array and just adds two to each element. So two is added. So it becomes three, four, five, six and seven and just stores in VA one. So I'm just printing the contents of VA one. So I'm getting the output all values incremented by two. So just it's really simple over here. We can use this apply and this simple function to do, do this work. And next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shift operation. Okay. 
but it's really the same code as well va1 the temporary value array va dot shift then just pass a number so what this number basically means that if the number is positive it shifts in the left side so here we are having positive 2 so it shifts our array twice left and if the number is negative it shifts in the count of time in the right so that's what it's going to do so here we are going to do shift our array uh, twice in the left and just going to store in va1 and we are just displaying the contents present in va1 so now if we just run this code we're getting the last two elements as zero that is because we are just removing the first two elements that is what normal shift does Suppose what if we want to have one two here instead of these zeros. So for that also there is option we can go with circular shift C shift and if we just now execute it, it just it performs the same thing. It performs the same lift shift but instead of removing those two elements we are having one and two over here. So it's really useful. Suppose what if I gave here minus two as I told you earlier minus refers to right shift operation. Okay. So if I just run it now. So it's basically shifted twice in the uh, right shift is performed twice that's what done over here and if I just go and remove the C shift and perform it as a normal shifting operation we will be getting zeros at front of the array okay so I'm getting zeros in the front of the array that's fine and, and the final function what we have over here is that swap so if I just go over here and put VA1 of 6 comma 7 and if I perform uh, VA1 dot swap va just run this code now i'll be getting one two three four five which is basically va1 uh, i'm printing va1 so va values comes to va1 that's what it's working done over here and i hope you would have found this video useful because val array i guess very few people use that i've never seen anyone using that and i actually found surf the web to know what this val array is so I hope you have enjoyed this video and my is a program channel. I've done programs in C, C, Java, Blender, Python, and Unity. So do check other videos of my channel. Subscribe and support me. Thanks for watching.